two. All right, we live. All right, Shallow on first and foremost, we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Harakah, Kadash, double honors to the elders and apostles of GMS, the great millstone, who rule well, and peace, love, and salutations to the Bayaf Dawa Dawa, the house of David, that's being risen up in these last days, and the brother Zion, the brother Karab, the brother Yakalim. Uh, yeah, we are the GMS boss, and, and Lord willing, you know, this is edifying. All right, this is a video that a brother sent me. The title of it, uh, matter of fact, let's just put it up. Go we'll watch this video, and um, we, we're going to some precepts, you know, and, and speak our thoughts, speak our minds. And, and basically, what does the scripture say? All right, this is our job. Our job is to, is to take everything and filter it through the scriptures. What's the title of that, brother? Huh, it says, um, how the how the ta how the fuck am I supposed to care for my kids? Single mom has a meltdown over quarantine shutdown. All right, let's run it. All right, um, go on full screen. Governor Laura Kelly. Governor Lucas. Governor. Governors. President. Who the fuck ever y'all want to call? Number forty-five. All of y'all, I just want to know, bro, I'm so fucking stressed out because y'all got every fucking place closed and people can't fucking work and shit. I just want to know. I want to fucking know, bro. Place right here, the Kansas driver license place. How is this not essential, bro? How is this place not essential? Y'all know what? Y'all know what? Look. Look, y'all. I went to work. Orientation for my new job, okay? Guess what? Guess fucking what, bro? Because I'm on the point of my breaking point. Like, the fucking government is so stupid to me. I just, I'm stressed out to the fucking max because I'm not rich like you motherfuckers, okay? I'm not rich like y'all. I just want to fucking know, bro. I can't go to work because my motherfucking stupid ass ID is fucking expired. This place is not considered essential at all. The driver's license place. But this motherfucking place over here with people full with fucking cars and shit, this is essential. Fast food is essential, but this place ain't. DCF ain't essential, but fast food is essential. The fuck? The courthouse ain't essential, but fast food is essential. I want to know how, bro. I can't even go visit the motherfucking doctor because they ain't essential. The fuck? They ain't taking new patients, but y'all can have some chickens and, and fucking McDonald's open. How the fuck is that essential, bro? I can't go to work. Y'all won't give me no stimulus money. DCF ain't returning no calls to give me no punk ass food stamps. How the fuck am I supposed to take care of my kids? Because y'all got all the essential shit shut down and all un unnecessary shit open. This shit is stupid, bro. I'm not no worthless ass bitch, bro. I got to figure out how to take care of my kids. And I can't do that shit with the whole fucking world closed down. But y'all got fucking dumbass slim tickets open. And fucking, bro. I've been calling DCF every motherfucking day. Trying to get some motherfucking food stamps. Unemployment ain't doing shit. DCF ain't doing shit. I ain't got no motherfucking job because I want to fire people. And then not let motherfucking driver's license place be open. And fucking slim tickets are open. God damn! Fucking stressed out to the max, and I ain't even no fucking punk ass car, baby. I just want to know how the fuck is slim chicken essential, but the driver's license place ain't. It don't make no sense to me. How the fuck is school not essential, but McDonald's is? I'm fucking sick of this shit. Somebody needs to tag the fucking news, the fucking stupid ass governors. I want to know how the fuck. It's slim chickens essential, but the fucking driver's license place ain't. DCF ain't. I've been calling DCF for a fucking week. <laughs> like, bro, I don't got it like that. I'm fucking stressed out. I got babies I need to take care of, and I can't even go to work because my fucking punk ass ID is expired. And these motherfuckers ain't open. You gotta do this shit online, and guess what? That takes 45 days for them to send you an ID, and the fucking people ain't gonna hold my job for 45 fucking days? Bro. What y'all 
bitch. I want to say be calm, be calm, bro. Fuck this. I'm glad y'all got y'all motherfucking stimulus check because guess what? I can't because I got a punk ass brother who likes to use my kids and social security numbers and I can't get shit. <sighs> And I can't even go jump through the hoops that I need to jump through to take care of shit because every fucking thing is closed. But Popeyes is essential. Yo, Barca, bring this out. Yes, sir. It's going to set the tone. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 12 and 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinding cease because there are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened. Come, so the grinding is talking about what the work, and and and, and that term looking out the window is a term, as an expression term used for looking into the future. You know, looking in your front yard, looking in your backyard, and when you look into the future of America. The future is real dark. It's real grim. Mm -hmm. It's real grim. And basically what's happening is reality starting to set in. Calm. But she said a few things that was interested, you know. Um, in, in the beginning, you know, she, she made a plea. She was calling. She said governors, you know, mayors, Trump, president, mm -hmm. 45. So I guess her, um, her anger or she wanted to get her message out to these rulers, right? Uh, um, get get uh, Isaiah chapter 36, verse 6. I got you. All right. She says she had an orientation for a new job. She says she's stressed out. All right. Um, mm -hmm. He's begging to go back to work. All right. She, she's talking about the courthouses being closed down. So she's, she's pro- um, wickedness, because we know when you're dealing with Esau's court system, that's a system that's unjust. So she's pro the courthouse. She's pro the doctors, right? Which is that's dealing with witchcraft. Um, these doctors are openly, um, the nurses are coming out and openly admitting that they're basically intentionally killing Jake. The Corona number uh, numbers are all spiked up because of um, malpractices that they're, they're performing on our people. You know, they're the issuers of all these uh, drugs. So she, she endorses this society. She endorses Babylon. She doesn't want to leave Babylon. Right. You mentioned uh, uh, McDonald's and, and punk ass, but we're going to go into it. Come on with that scripture. Con, it's Isaiah, Isaiah 36 and 6 it says, Lo, thou trusted in the staff of this broken reed. On Egypt, whereon if a man lean, it will go into his hand and pierce it. So right. it's Pharaoh king of Egypt and, and, and to all that trusted him. Now, if you look up that word governor or government, you know, um, it'll tell you. So what Isaiah was, with, with, with the prophet Isaiah um, was witnessing was people going into the rulers of our adversaries, the rulers of people who one time had us in captivity, you know, our natural enemies. All right, because um, um, they set the trap for you to come crawling out of their hands, uh, mm -hmm. crawling to, 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 to eat bread out of their hands only so that they could be able to kill you, man. Mm -hmm. All right. And this spiritually, which she's screaming out is for the RFID microchip. A lot of her problems will be solved if, if, if she had that identification already, it didn't need to get, uh, she didn't need to go to the office and wait in lines or wait online. Uh, for it to get to uh, renew it, you know, if she her money would be all right, right in her hand, her money would be in her hand, her identification would be in her hand, and, and she'd be fully a part of the system. Uh, I got a quick precept. This is Isaiah 30 and 1. It says, Go to the rebellious children, said the Lord Yahweh, that take comfort, but not of me, and that take cover with that cover what they cover, but not of my spirit. That they may add sin to sin, that walk to go down into Egypt, and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Therefore, shall the strength of Pharaoh be ashamed in the in the trust of in, in the shadows of Egypt? Your confusion. So, what's her shame? 
and what's her her confusion the amount of trust that she has in the government mm -hmm. suppose the government doesn't open back up suppose the economy doesn't get back to normal things don't go back to normal suppose she's not she, she she's not going to be able to receive unemployment right she's not going to be able to receive those punk ass food stamps because she stated that they were punk ass food stamps but these are these are the same punk ass food stamps that she's begging for suppose she's not oh. she's not going to be able to get that uh, what is she going to do she said i'm not a regular ass bitch but there's a little fire, a little flame coming to the world, and you're proven to be a, a regular ass bitch. You're proven to be nobody. You're proven to be completely uh, worthless, right? And 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 really, um, the physical, uh, a lot of the physical damage that's to come to the world hasn't even hit yet. This is just a right. psychological um, effect that he is having on these Babylonians, man. These people want to go back into Egypt. All right, right now, spiritually, Jacob, Jacob's at a spot where, you know, the Heavenly Father's getting ready to uh, deliver us. But you got God, and it's happening. It's happening fast. A lot of prophecies are happening, but a lot of guys and girls, you know, they simply don't want Babylon to fall because they, they've been accustomed to living a certain amount of lifestyle, and God forbid, their little lifestyle gets infringed upon. Um, they're dying for the adversaries just to come back in and, 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 and give you a job. Look what she's begging for. Mm -hmm. She's begging for um, a job. She's begging for work. She's begging to be a slave. Mm -hmm. Probably renting a house out, right? She obviously was living paycheck to paycheck like the majority of us are living paycheck to paycheck. You know, she can't see the problem with any society that he set up. And she can't yearn for a new one. And that's the reason why Lot's wife got left behind, man. Because she looked back. She wanted to go back into this wickedness. Go ahead, Karab. Yeah, this is Micah 2 and 10. It says, Arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. Because it is polluted, it, was, it shall destroy you, even with a sore destruction. This America, Babylon, is a slippery slope. When you're on a slippery slope, you don't get comfortable. Because mm -hmm. you know you're in a position where you might fall. All right? Uh, America... You don't get comfortable with, with with none of this because it's all temporal. Mm -hmm. Anything that was given to you by your enemy can be taken away by your enemy, and he's proven this. He's proven that he can he he has the power to give and to take away. Go ahead, Yakalum. No, Carl, Carl. Um, I was just gonna add to what you were saying as well. How the brother brought out um the part for this is not our rest, and how we don't depend on this place because we understand it's gonna be destroyed. And the Book of Revelation eighteen and four tells you that it says um. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues. Yeah, yeah, come, man. That's a beautiful precept. Come out of her, my people, that you may not receive her plagues. In order to come out of her, you got to come out of her mentally. You got to come out of her mentally. You got to come out of her spiritually. A lot of our people, they're not mentally. This lady right here, she's bugged out. She's not mentally yeah. ready to come out of Babylon, man. Mm -hmm. He's not mentally ready. So there you go. There you have it. When the scriptures say knowledge and wisdom will be the stability of those times, um, a, a lot of people are going to be like her. But see, that spirit that's on her is just the most high showing us a little snippet of the of, 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 of what's to happen with our woman, man. Go ahead. Uh, if, I, if I may mention, too, you know, in, in the book of Luke, the Lord mentions about a man building his house upon a rock and another person building his house upon sand. You know, and that's showing you the foundation. You building up and trusting in Babylon, that's you building upon sin. You know, so like wow. I said, when that flood beats upon that house, the house is gonna fall. So this is what you, you, you see with your eyes with this woman. You know, she built her, she built up a foundation of Babylon, and in Babylon is to be thrown down. So now she's getting brought down with that that whole uh, uh with the plague. You know, and she and she and and that's why a lot a lot is to see it no other way, man. Mm -hmm. No other way. And the majority of our women. That's gonna be the mind frame, and, and 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 now you can see it's becoming more clear how a woman is gonna to gravitate toward a man of the Lord. Mm -hmm. A man of the Lord is gonna be a high because she's mentally unstable. It was what, what's what's gonna happen as the the uh, that curtain gets pulled back. You're gonna see a lot of people was really just out here faking the funk, man. Mm -hmm. This this mixed shift society was built up basically. So that sucker niggas and, and, and sucker broads to basically thrive. 
Right? They, they, they were, they were um, you know, giving a, a, a leg up in this society. And primarily the black woman, let's be honest, she was given a leg up, federal jobs, um, welfare, um, uh, child support, spousal support, food stamps, housing, shelters. She was given. She was given all these things to prompt her up over the man, right? To conquer the man uh, mentally, man, and as well as spiritually, emotionally. All right. To 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 use him, uh, use her. She was set up against the man, and now he's taking. He's stripping that woman from what he gave her, man, because it was only given temporarily. It was only given to prove a point. It was only given so that, as a matter of fact, there's a scripture that says that, I don't know, Karab, it talks about if you go into a strong man's house. You gotta bind a strong man, come on. You gotta bind a strong man, right? I'll find it real quick, Sorry, bro. That's what Esau did. He, he wanted to bind us up in order for him to, see, our family structure was always strong. It was always strong. That was the cornerstone of this whole Israelite thing. We were family. We stuck together. You know, it, it, we stuck. We taught them how to be uh, a, a family. But what he did was he broke that up, and it started all right with the feminist movement. Because when you go back to Jake um, in the forties, Jake in the thirties, you know, it was unheard of for um, a so-called single parent household all right but ever since the 60s and the 70s all right all the way up into the 80s the drug ap drug epidemic mm -hmm. and the war on drugs ecf programs like that all right by the time 2020 women had surpassed men man mm -hmm. women have surpassed men the lord said uh behold i make a new thing a woman shall compass a man but it was, it was done artificially it was done um, fakely, and everything that is not real, everything that is evil, is gonna be destroyed, or is it gonna is gonna implode before it gets destroyed? And Esau's system is is imploding right now, man. All right, the system is falling to within on itself because really it's unsustainable. Because the only thing that's sustainable is, is um, a world ran in righteousness by way of the law, statutes, and commandments of the scriptures. Mm -hmm. Everything else um, will disappear. Uh, I got the precept for you. This yep. is this is Mark three and twenty seven. Says no man can enter into a strong man's house and spoil his good, except he first bind the strong man, and then he will spoil his house. So the war is all about women. When you when you go to war, when men go to war with men, you know all women are is a spoil of their war. Mm -hmm. You know, Esau really is not in war with the so called black woman. That's why he'll get he he uses her as an as an ally against us because he's at war with us, man. Mm -hmm. He's at war with us. He ain't at war with us. So women are just when the Nazis and the Germans went at it, they went to war. I mean, the Nazis and the, and, and, and the Russians, you know, as Russia conquered Nazi, the women were spoiled. You know, they were they were raped, they were ravished. You know, they took them over. But women are just spoils of war. Mm -hmm. I got I got another precept going to yep. Isaiah 32 and 9. Yep. All right. This is uh it says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Yep. Give now, to my feet. Sloppy bro. sloppy, bro. Because there were women, there's women out there that's giving ear. Because the scripture you can't lie. There's women that's gonna give ear, that's gonna listen, and they're gonna not be settled on their leaves. They're gonna be um um uh, hit to What's going on? So when it goes on, it ain't gonna buck out like this. Mm -hmm. All on Facebook Live, crying to the government, okay, that's food stamps, wanting your ID, want orientation, missing orientation. The, uh, somebody in their right mind is uh, welcoming all this on, man. But understanding that, damn, this is the time of Esau's fall. Um, mm -hmm. But go ahead, Karam. Khan, this is um Isaiah Isaiah thirty two and ten. It says, "Many days and years shall you be troubled." Uh, uh, Isaiah 32 and 9. Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ears unto my speech. Many days and years shall ye be troubled, ye careless women. For the vintage shall fail, the gathering shall not come. Tremble ye 
Ye women that are at ease, be trouble, you careless ones, strip you and make you bare, and gird sackcloth upon your loins. They shall lament for the teats, for, for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine. Hey, can you look up that word, vintage? Come on. I got you. That word up. The vintage and the gathering will not come. So let's look at what's not going to come, right? What's not going to come to the to, to, to this woman in particular, but women also in general. Uh, let's see. Um, on the blue letter, I'm gonna just play it out real quick. Strong's H twelve ten. But see it. Batsia. All right, and it just says vintage. And it's um when you go down. The crop. Mm -hmm. This is uh the great crops vintage. Also, when you read right here in the the lexicon, it says inaccessible. Inaccessible high, but I, I can also look it up on the Google. Just yeah, just yeah, look it up on Google. See if it comes up anything. It says mm -hmm. crop. I just wanted to know what that word meant because uh -huh. we know that the, the, the gathering is going into you know the police, the government. That the gathering could come any anybody that set up to help you. Um, the, the the ambulance, you know, there's going to be a time in which you're not going to be able to call the ambulance. She said it too; she can't make a, a hospital. Right, people aren't being buried, so these prophecies are coming to pass. The scriptures talk about that. You're not being the the, the funerals. Having no funerals, it's gonna get to the point where they're not even gonna bother burying the dead bodies. Mm -hmm. that's, that's how bad it's gonna get. But this woman is bu uh, already bugging out. She's mentally tapped out already. Mm -hmm. In order to survive this thing, you gotta be mentally sharp. You gotta expect not just this, but expect worse. So since she's mentally tapped out already, you can you can already see who's not gonna make it. Wow. So I got the definition on Google. It says vintage. It says the year or place in which wine, especially wine of high quality, was produced. A wine of high quality made from the crop of a single identified dis dis district in a good year. Also, go, um, it says the harvesting of grapes for wine making. The grape, yeah, you know, so it's going the into the first one going crop. Into the first and yeah, and this one going into the uh, yeah, basically the uh, uh, grapes and things and such. So, and she was begging for what? For things. Hey, if you go into uh, what the scripture also talks about, it says you uh, reaping what you sow, you know, that's also uh, when, you, uh, when you reap and that's also going into harvesting as well. You know, you're going to receive of that, you know, saying uh, that you put out, you know. So we said in the vintage fair, you know, that's you know, that's all talking about uh, uh, the things that they was collecting, you know, such as the, the benefits, you know. Yep. Yeah. Is gonna fail, you know, and that's, 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 that's energy of I don't need a man. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep. Single, independent, niggas ain't shit. You know, keep that same energy because that's what you. you um, give me that scripture where it said man will be a hiding place. Come. Huh. Is it Isaiah thirteen? Is it? I think so. Okay. I think that one's a man more precious than fine gold, Isaiah 13. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, huh. Hey, even that can go, you know, showing you yeah. that. You know, I, I can bring that out as well. Yeah. You know, it says, um, Isaiah 13 and 12, it says, I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. You know, showing you that, you know, these times, you know, these women that, that, that rely, they're gonna be looking for men. They're gonna be looking, these so called independent women are gonna be looking for men for protection in that time, you know? Carmen, like, Carmen, I was gonna say, you also had recently on social media, I know well, a couple of brothers did a video on it where you had females at the beginning of this quarantine looking at their mans, talking about, you know, I hope your man can hunt and do this and that. So they was downplaying like, certain dudes man you know you already had females during this starting to look at the type of dudes they was with and realize like wait a minute i'm with a nigga that can't hunt i'm gonna do that if something go down i can't rely. you know just small things like that yep uh -huh. can't rely on them but she 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 she's an example of the mind frame that a lot of these women are going to have just looking to eat looking to eat which is the devil 
so-called white man's a doe. He gonna help you. He gonna kill you, man. Scripture tells you to never trust thine enemy. Those those hospitals are death traps. She mentioned the school. Our, our schools are essential. Those schools are nothing but brainwashing. Um, you know, really daycares for the nigger woman because the average black woman, um, she 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 really she hates being a parent, man. To be honest, the scripture call them ostriches. Ostriches have seeds and eggs, and they don't they disregard the eggs. They'll crush them. They'll step on them like a, a chicken's. A, the natural naturalness of a chicken is to protect her eggs. You know, her her, her chicks. Mm -hmm. But the ostrich, the woman says, uh, the scriptures talk about women being deprived of wisdom because you know their, their children are supposed to be their first love, and that's the that's that that's far from their mind. When they're forced to take care of them kids, they're realizing uh, how much of monsters they are, and they're bugging the hell out. Go ahead, y'all, them. Yeah, but I was gonna say that you know you got females posting. Um, I'm tired of watching my mom's grandkids. And mm -hmm. I had to think about it for a quick second, and I'm like, okay, that makes sense, because they used to just working, kids a day kid, and come the weekend, kids go to grandma, they all living their life, and that's why I like the uh, domestic violence is up. You had that video with that woman that was just beating on a child, man, and you got this okay, lady that's come. bugging out. Come, 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 come. Yep. I got that Isaiah 32. I got that piece up. So Isaiah 32 and 2. And a man shall be as in hiding place from the winds and a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place as the shadow of a great rock in a weary land. God. You know, that's, the, that's going into a man of the Lord primarily, you know, because that's who's going to be covered in this time, in the time of Jacob's trouble and this, uh, 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 a coming danger that's to come uh, upon the world, you know. A man of the Lord is just gonna is gonna be that hiding place, you know. That's showing you that that's who they're gonna be flocking to, you know. Uh, so, hey man, um, Babylon is about to fall, and if you if you wanna uh, hold stay, if you wanna stay on the Titanic while it's sinking, you know, then that's your business, you know. You, you, I got one, thinking, I got one piece up. Just you know, you're mm -hmm. thinking that you could patch up these holes. And this shit, you don't know uh, prophecy because prophecy states that this place is going to burn. And if you try to hold this place up, you know, you're going to go right along with it. You got to prepare yourself for what is to come and, and gird yourself. Likewise, have the same like uh, mind frame as Yahweh Shai and um, follow through, listen to this book. Go ahead, bro. Come on, this is um, Second Ezra 8 and 50. It says, for many great miseries shall be done to them that dwell in the latter time. And a lot of times shall dwell in the earth, dwell in the world because they have walked in great pride. Right. And, you know, you see what's happening. Coronavirus, deaths, uh, police shootings, um, regular civilian shootings, uh, killer hornets. These are these perilous times. These are dark times are coming, man. Yeah, and, and everybody's, it's funny, they're posting these memes like, oh, you know, 20, 2020 was a bad year, you know, um, as if if 2021, everything, your life is going to just go back to normal. Because come on, come on. 2021 is not going to be worse, even if we make it there, than 2020. 2020 is just a warm up to what is to come. Scripture say, we, we can't we can't talk about the time, but we know how ugly it's going to get. 2020 yeah. is, you're going to wish that you was in 2020, man, when you go into 2022, 2022 2021, because it's just nothing. This mm -hmm. is nothing. We wasn't kicked out of your houses. We actually had food, right? Mm -hmm. So it's going to get worse, man. We no food, man. The government is going to be completely shut down. The police are going to be completely shut down. And people don't believe this because it's so far-fetched to them. And they, and they pee on brains and their carnal brains. They can't fathom the truth. Mm -hmm. Really, all you got to do is open your eyes and look at the truth. Look at trajectory. Where's this thing heading? What's happening to the world that I'm living in? And, and 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 what's the, what's how bad can it get? What's the consequences? And when you look, you know, is things are gonna get bad here, man. They're gonna get bad. They're gonna get bad. All right. So we, we any, you brothers got anything else? I got one more, bro. Brother, go ahead. Come on with it. Con, con. Um, I'm gonna start at this Proverbs one and twenty. I'm gonna start at uh twenty two and go down. It's how long the temple ones will you love simplicity and the scorners delight the scorning and now, food. Bro, real quick, you said that. Since you said that, how long you simple ones when you love simplicity? 
You know, you had these niggas down in uh, Atlanta uh, mm -hmm. getting, the, getting shoes, uh, women getting hair. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just you got a whole, Jake is doing a whole lot of uh, foolish things, man. So the scripture is asking, how long will you simple with when you love simplicity? Go ahead, brother. Come on. Uh, verse uh, 23, it says, turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour my spirit unto you and I will make known my words unto you. Because I have called and ye have refused, I sh I have stretched out my hands and no man's regarded, but ye have set at not all my counsel and won none of my reproof. It says, I also will laugh at your calamities and I will mock when your fear cometh. When your fear cometh as a desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. Yeah, how about Shemel Shah? Yep, keep going. Kind of say they were none of my counsel, they despise all my reproof. Therefore, shall they eat of the fruits of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whoso hearken unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet. For, from fear of evil. So when you hearken to the Heavenly Father, you get into this this truth, this brotherhood. Um, you use Yahweh Shem Yahshai as your defense mechanism, your tower, your defense tower. Mm -hmm. you, you you have nothing to worry about. But if not, you you are gonna go down by way of these plagues, and the prophet to the Heavenly Father gonna laugh at you. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, brother. Call like I was just gonna add Jeremiah seventeen seven. Because it says, blessed is the man that trusteth in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. Mm -hmm. So right. we trust in the Lord. We trust that the Heavenly Father is going to feed us. We, we trust that the Heavenly Father is going to protect us. You know, we trust that he's going to guide our steps. We take it day by day. We take what we got and, and, and give us this day our daily bread. And we look forward to a new heaven and a new earth. And we look forward to the destruction of this one. We look right. forward to everything that you set up. To basically to implode, to collapse, or to fail, whether it be schools, his so-called doctors, all right, his, his, his police system, his court system, everything, you know, mm -hmm. shut it down because it's destructive to the nation of Israel. All right, so with that we want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, 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 the Black, the Elders, and Apostles of GMS, the Great Millstone. Peace, love, and salutation. Till next time, we say shalom. Shalom.